After a rough night, Gordon confronts the staff. Overall, honestly, pretty disappointing. Both in the kitchen and the dining room. There's one thing in here that I would change instantly. On the back of my experience today, and that's you. Why? You are the executive chef. You're supposed to be a leader, a motivator. You are seriously, seriously leading this place into bankruptcy. Because the big problem in this restaurant, Pinto, is in the kitchen. Fresh frozen, slow thaw. I think that Pinto deserved every single solitary second of that ass reaming that he got from Gordon. If this was your restaurant, would you be freezing everything, portioning it, and then dropping in bowls of water to defrost it to recook it? Okay. Yes or no? No, I wouldn't. Embarrassing! Get the message! Now show me your pride. Chef! Because I'm fucking waiting. And unfortunately, whether you like it or not, the two people behind you, it's them you're dragging down. That's why I'm pissed. So cut the bullshit. Get ready for some changes. Because Cafe 36 needs it urgently. He hasn't got a fucking clue. Will you stop acting like a baby? Hey, we will need diaper changing. Little poo poo and caca pants. <laughs> Big wet noodle. You want a blanket and a bottle? <laughs> what a spoiled brat. Oh my god. Now he's setting himself on fire. Where did you train from? Why in your tiny mind do you think it's still fresh from last Saturday? You call yourself the executive chef? You should be ashamed. You told me you train with the best chefs in Europe. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're not a chef. He hasn't got a fucking clue. <laughs> All right. This is not getting through to your fucking thick head. <laughs> Next course, Oyster Rockefeller. Yeah, Oyster Disaster. It's your fucking mess. No, I don't. The business filed out of the control, and you want me to come in here, wave a magic wand, kiss your no, ass, I'm which I'm never that. gonna fucking do. I don't want to kiss anybody. That's ass. what you want. One man's delusion taking everybody down and totally oblivious to the issue. Fucking killing people. That man is a liability. You are so fucking arrogant. You don't even listen to your customers, let alone your staff. You have a gifted young group of servants that told me more problems and issues in the first 20 minutes of meeting them than you have done all fucking day. From a fake fireplace to fake garnish, yeah, you want me to blow fucking smoke up your phony ass. <laughs> Karis is just a fucking example of 20 things that have gone wrong because you're in fucking denial. <laughs> Playing those mind games behind the staff, humiliating them, talking shit at the bar behind their back. 
Joe Jr. I need to hear from you. I don't know what to do. I know what you do. Yeah. You fire him! Right now, you! Out! 